What's up Scorpio? This is going to be your love reading for the second half of June. This is for my Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share. It does help out my channel. If you're new here, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I do offer personal readings. There is a wait for a reading with me guys. So I've put my links to my affiliates in the description box as well mystic sense and spiritual blossom they're both great options um, if you want access to lots of amazing psychics and readers located all over the world at any given time if you go through mystic sense they're going to give you your first five minute reading free and if you go through spiritual blossom they also have a nice bonus offer um, so check them out if you feel called to do so and um, otherwise if you'd like to follow me on tiktok or instagram i put the links to those in the description box as well so scorpio we're going to do a person on your mind how do they feel about you then how do you feel about them then the projected potential outcome for the um, second half of june i say potential to anyone that's new because i incorporate the law of assumption into my readings which essentially means this is a reading and a checking in point based on one timeline one version of you and one version of said specific person and the um, connection out of infinite that you have selected from your current state of consciousness and everything that you desire you can have and you can absolutely shift tweak or have anything conform everyone is a reflection of you you pushed out and your current state so if you'd like to look into the law there's great coaches online lots of material um, I have posted some stuff and will continue to incorporate more information about it as I go along um, but yes this is just a checking in point guys so um, the person on Scorpio's mind I just saw page of swords so observation energy Scorpio they're watching you how do they feel about Scorpio maybe they feel you watch them I don't know maybe it's mutual watching like online or you know checking each other out checking each other out maybe for something committed Scorpio because I just saw the Hierophant card and the two of cups that's nice and the ten of cups I'm getting quite good energy off this so let's see okay the high priestess in the reverse the three of pentacles in the upright the knight of pentacles in the upright three of swords in the reverse six of swords in the upright with a two of wands okay Scorpio so how does this person feel about you and they're telling me to take the temperance card in the reverse there's a sense of impatience Scorpio about making a decision on the way forward so it looks to me and I trust what I channel while I'm shuffling in the cards I was getting it seems to be that this person maybe wants to speed things up or wants to get a clear answer on the direction forward for maybe something more committed um, or traditional because knight of pentacles this seems to be a slow and steady mover so you could have been connected to this person um, for a while or it could have been it could be that it feels very slow to get this to to a stable connection but knight of pentacles also tells me that this person's still moving along moving forward with that or wanting to move ahead it's the end goal um, you know two of wands it's like decisions planning um, maybe they're waiting for you to make the plan or the decision or they're kind of um, you know trying to make some kind of a plan to, to move ahead I mean some of you are dealing with a person where travel is a factor six of swords but you know I mean and physical separation three of swords um, and for some of you there's been maybe some disappointment or hurt feelings um, that's caused you know a little bit of a, a stall two of ones maybe disappointment in not knowing the way forward or impatience around that now for some of you three of swords six of swords I mean this could be that there's been a two of ones because you or this person or both of you are trying to move away from a third party situation or old heartbreak that may have caused heartbreak between the two of you you know um, I'm not really getting so much that you've like completely split from this person Scorpio I think this is someone in your energy at the moment um, but you might be dealing with someone that is in the process of like they've separated from someone they're trying to move away from that pain or that could be you or both of you um, so this has been a bit slow or there's a sense of caution knight of pentacles can be a little bit that way um, but they want to move things along they want to move out of that kind of um, hurt energy hurt between you two or hurt from the past um, the high priestess is in the reverse so I feel Scorpio you know if there's been hurt feelings or um, silence maybe you go through periods of silence this person wants to break the silence um, you know three of Pentacles here cooperation some of you this is a person that's connected to your network or your work network but it's definitely about wanting to get on the same page 
right, let me get a little bit more on this um, High Priestess in the reverse. The Lover's card. So they feel intuitively connected to you, Scorpio, and they also feel a strong soul contract with you. But there's something here about like choices or decisions. Now for some of you, yeah, this person either feels that you're not really cho choosing them or deciding, or they haven't really been able to do that because of something to do with like timing, um, wrapping up something else or, or trying to heal heartbreak. Um, you know, temperance card. It's like things need to be healed, but I'm also getting temperance card in the reverse. It could be that there's been impatience between the two of you and that's caused friction. Um, high priestess in the reverse, the four of cups and disappointment, like emotional rejection. And they want to come out of that Ooh, Scorpio because it's in the reverse. So they, there's something here that needs to be healed. It's being triggered between the two of you, but it's like an old story. So it could be because of the way things have unfolded in this situation, the circumstances, which guys don't, they don't matter. So when you go and look into the law, you'll understand circumstances don't matter. But the see, you know, the circumstances between you and this person on the current timeline seem to have caused, um, it's triggered a feeling of rejection um, and not feeling very chosen or prioritized. Now that could be this person's story in response to your circumstances or their circumstances they're aware have done that to you, okay? Now, Scorpio, I say this in all my readings, you don't even have to worry about that person changing. If you select a new version of them from a new state of consciousness, like if you have a story here that's being triggered, you can select a new version of you that doesn't have a belief that's being hit on. And you can also anyway, affirm that you and this person are in a great spot, that you're better than ever, um, you know, or that they show up in a certain type of a way, look into, um, you know, some videos about getting your specific person to conform. Um, but there's been disappointment. This could be an old story. You know, this person could have a thing about not really feeling chosen or a rejection wound. And then that could have caused some um, impatience between the two of you, um, or that's the theme in your connection. But they want to work through things. The lover's card in the upright, they, they feel it's a soul contract, a soul connection. I mean, the high priestess can also be a sense of things hidden either unsaid or hidden, like secrecy. And um, it could be that things are coming to light that need to heal. Like maybe there's a sense of understanding because, you know, high priest is also intuition. So maybe this person has a sense that there's things that need to be healed between you two, but also on their end, coming down to some of this, you know, this rejection wound or whatever. Either way, they want to come out of that energy, it looks like. Let's see. The Fool. Well, Scorpio, they want to take a leap of faith with you for something stable. Emperor card is like father and husband figure. So um, it's like, I'm really getting an energy of, should we do this? Should we go for it? Um, so if they're waiting on you to make that decision, that could be why they're impatient. Some of you, there's children in the mix here and third party energy. Um, and for others of you, you know, that if there's been a stalling on their end for that reason, they're really making the plan to go for it, okay? Um, cause that's a really nice upright emperor. This is about taking control of matters, taking a leap of faith. For those of you that are at a distance, this is about taking travel. So maybe they want to talk about doing that. We've got Sagittarius energy, um, Aries energy, Pisces energy, um, Gemini energy with the lovers card. Okay. Page of swords has <laughs> come out again. Uh, so channeled it and it came out. So they're watching you. They're eyeing you out for something really stable. They want to build with you, Scorpio. And then Hierophant card, see everything that I channel comes out. So this person's eyeing you out for Hierophant card, something traditional, committed. They're hoping maybe for marriage, um, you know, maybe that's been stalled because like I said, there could have been, you know, um, other energies around or, or um, fear in moving ahead because of the past, like old heartbreak that hasn't been released or healed because the seven of swords, this is like uh Maybe not trusting. There's been trust issues between the two of you, Scorpio. Maybe because of indecision or unreadiness or there's a rejection wound that this is like triggering. Okay. Um, so, you know, but this person, they still seem to be quite like intent on a commitment with you. Some of you are from different religions or cultures. And that's, that's a factor. That's very minor, few of you, I think. Um, and this is also spiritual. So Hierophant card and, and the um, lover's card, there's a very spiritual connection here. 
Um, so I feel that this person is pretty intent on moving ahead. Now, if you're on the flip side, Scorpio, feeling this person's not choosing, you don't even need to chase it. Um, or like if you feel like it's stalled or there's indecision or if you're going round and round with certain triggers, I already explained, you can shift that um, if you shift your focus um, and hold a different version of them in your, in your awareness. Um, or, you know, if you want them to choose and you're worried that they're not, well, they seem to be making a plan, but you can speed things up, Scorpio, by not wavering and you're actually the god of your reality. People are going to show up and conform according to your narrative and what your assumptions are. So if you want this, Scorpio, all you need to do is make that decision. Say, no, we're in a committed relationship. We're great. Whatever it is, the coaches will help you with it, okay? Um, let's see about that Hierophant card. Ooh. Okay, the moon. Yeah, there seems to have been um, either fear, either they feel like you have a fear and commitment because of stuff going on outside of them, right? Um, or there's been fears and suspicion and um, uneasiness about commitment because of rejection issues. Like this person might have been feeling like you weren't really choosing them or, um, you know, there's old energies that, this person's kind of like trying to heal from, right? Death card. They want to transform that though, Scorpio. Death card and the, the moon card. Um, transformational energy. Um, yeah, there just could have also just been trust issues between the two of you. If this is taking a long time to get it to something stable and committed, um, that could have caused some suspicion between the two of you. Maybe a feeling of keeping secrets from one another. I mean, the moon card also can just be when things are not very clear and that could trigger a lot of fear and moon card couldn't be, um, you know, maybe there's been some avoidance moon card, seven of swords in, in being clear about the way forward or um, being open with one another. So there could have been some suspicion around secrets. I'm not really getting that energy off this person, Scorpio, but you know, yeah, page of cups. I mean, they seem to want to, they see opportunity with you. Um, and they want to maybe come in and make an offer or a gesture, page of cups. Some of you children are playing into this. So that's a thing, right? Um, let me have a look, Scorpio, at you and what you want. Um, Taurus energy with the Hierophant card. What does Scorpio want here? Page of pentacles. I mean, you see opportunity with this person. Ace of wands, but in the reverse, some of you are not sure, like with the ace of wands in the reverse, something between the two of you has maybe caused um, loss of passion or excitement, but that might be because of the issues that are coming up between the two of you. You know, I did say that this person seems to want to move things along. Um, five of cups, you feel that either seven of cups, there's like confusion and mixed feelings. Um, and the five of cups tells me there's old loss that's causing the confusion. I'm not really getting, there may have been things that have taken place between you and this person, Scorpio, and there's like regrets um, in the way you've shown up for one another. Um, but I'm really getting Scorpio that it's more so what's holding this up is old energy that's maybe being projected into this situation. Do you know what I mean? Seven of Cups is confusion, mixed feelings, it's illusions, it's our fears. So Scorpio, taking the focus off them and putting the focus on you if you want this person and you want this to shift, all you need to do is change self. So if you're having a lot of fear coming up and making assumptions about this person or the, the mirrors morphing and triggering you in some way because you have certain assumptions about love and the way people show up because you've been disappointed, you know, you can absolutely shift that and this person will show up more and more according to the positive assumptions you're making. And if you release the past and just let go of an old story or a narrative, um, or whatever belief is being triggered by this situation. Um, Nine of Cups, because you do see a lot of pleasure with this person, Scorpio. You have a lot of fun with this person. Um, and then you've got the Four of Cups. Scorpio, they've got the Four of Cups in the reverse. They want to get past this um, feeling of disappointment or rejection. They may feel they've disappointed you. You may feel you've disappointed them. Um, it could be a mutual thing. They want to work through it. Four of Cups is rejection wounds. So that might be something you both have. Because um, the sun, Scorpio, you see this person as joy and happiness. So the moon, they have the moon and the seven of swords. So there seems to be not necessarily trusting the situation 
or that that's where you guys have been, like you haven't really been trusting it. Um, there's a lot of fears that have been coming up or rejection issues, but from the moon to the sun, there's opportunity here to move into the sun and joy and clarify things, okay? So maybe watch your assumptions, Scorpio, like if you have assumptions about this person that they're not um, wanting it or, you know, they're, they're not choosing or they're not deciding. Well, like I said, Scorpio, you know, they're just going to reflect you. They're, they're, they're going to reflect your state. So circumstances will crystallize to confirm what you're assuming and your beliefs. So you can actually have this joy and happiness. That seems to be what you want, Scorpio, for those of you for whom this reading resonates and works for, okay? Knight of Swords. Maybe there's been some erratic behavior or harsh communication and that's caused, caused disappointment, Scorpio. Yeah, and then it's been very stuck, Two of Swords, but you kind of want to come unstuck. Let's see what this Four of Cups is about. And then I'm going to get the um, Oracle cards. Okay, about Four of Wands, about house and home and marriage or commitment or stability. So this is where the sticking point is, Scorpio. It seems to be you have a, you know, this person at least thinks that there's a strong connection here. They hope to have something stable and committed. They're not sure whether this is ready to do that. And that could be on your end, Scorpio. Like if you're trying to let go of some past um, shit that you've gone through or this person or both of you, but still their intent seems to be that they want to move things along. You have had um, disappointments where maybe you're not sure if you want this. Part of you maybe wants four of wands, which is about like settling down. And part of you might have been very confused or stuck on that or indecisive. And that could have caused some erratic behavior between the two of you. I mean, you could be ping ponging energy, Scorpio. Like if this person's showing up a little bit fearful um, or not trusting, and then you're responding to that energy, feeling like they don't really know what they want or feeling rejected. Do you see how it works? Um, so there's been confusion. And I picked that up when I was shuffling. Um, but the part of you that finds this fun and joyful, um, you can also just focus on that. I mean, and, and the part of you that if you want serious commitment, this person seems to also want that Scorpio 10 of pentacles, serious commitment. It has been on pause Scorpio and, and there's been confusion. Now for some of you, it's because of family matters, children, um, seven of cups, other cups around like outside energies. I'm not getting either of your inner commitment Scorpio with anyone else. Um, I just feel like it might be unfinished business, past disappointment or actual responsibility, Ten of Pentacles, um, like children, financial matters that are keeping this pause and more so on an emotional level, maybe a lot of fear. But there's Page of Cups. You both have Page of Cups. So I actually feel like there's a really nice playful energy between the two of you when it's good, Scorpio. And I think you both mutually want to make a gesture or an offer with one another now moving into June. I wasn't really getting like, like um, this is a, a breakup situation coming back in. I just feel like there's been hurt feelings maybe and, and lack of confusion between the two of you and you're both sort of coming in um, with Page of Cups energy. Um, so there's opportunity here, Scorpio, also to work through the confusion, the mixed feelings. Ultimately, you know what I say, guys, always is that there's actually no one to decide or change but self. This person will absolutely show up and conform to whatever you're assuming. You can select a version of this connection to show up how you desire. Um, if you look into the law, guys, I know it's not for everyone. So if you want a traditional tarot reading, there's plenty of tarot readers out there, but I want you guys to understand you can have whatever you like. There's something here about financial matters potentially as well, three of pentacles. So this person could be very also focused on their finances, their career, um, and, and that's been a priority and they're sort of at a crossroads two of wands um, because of that. Um, similarly, you Scorpio, you could be stuck, like I said, or, or sort of hanging back because there's issues to do with house, home, financial matters. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Facing their demons. Interesting. So there's definitely been triggering here. And I did say, I think that this person understands with this um, lover's card and the hierophant card a spiritual lesson like they're trying to work through some triggering that they have around not feeling good enough not feeling chosen or worthy um contemplation unsure choice i said chosen unsure choices decisions there's that feeling between the two of you um of uncertainty indecision 
either this person, that's their assumption about you because you're holding back a bit, you're confused, you have mixed feelings, um, or you both are unsure um, for whatever reasons that I've already covered. But um, again, if you want it, you can decide. You choose who chooses you, Scorpio. Um, yeah, there's something here about avoidance. That's that seven of swords. So that's where the distrust is coming in, the moon and the seven of swords. So there's a feeling of like avoiding the issue or avoiding clarity on the way forward or avoiding deciding. Um, but then infatuation. So there's a lot of maybe chemistry um, between the two of you. What does this person actually want to come in with? Let's get some of the mystic black rose. Ooh, chasing, resilience, Scorpio. So I did say to you, I think that, you know, this person wants to move things along. They're keen to, to move it along. Um, there's jealousy issues coming up, Scorpio. So I don't know that that's founded. I'm not getting on either end that this is like player energy or anyone's like really cheating. That seven of swords and the moon is like the avoidance thing that is causing suspicion. I did say it's like this feeling of secrets or lack of clarity. And I think that there's opportunity for the clarity with the sun card, okay? So, so it could be triggering jealousy issues. And jealousy issues come down to, I'm not chosen, I'm not enough. And that could be the old story. On their end, on your end, that just flashed on its own, guys. That could be your story or their story or both stories. You know, you've both got four of cups, rejection wounds or fear of what you have to offer is not being taken or that someone's gonna go with a bigger, better offer. Um, you know, and then that causes uh, tension, okay? Um, and, and there's an opportunity here for clarity. Magnifying glass, I love you, okay? Validation, confirmation. Maybe you both feel that neither of you, sorry, maybe you both feel the other one is not validating, right? Like you're feeling rejected. And it's just energy being ping-ponged back and forth, Scorpio. So I did tell you, if you're getting frustrated by them and you want them to be different, you can shift them with your mind, shift it with your state of consciousness and they will come back and mirror back to you exactly what you want. It works, guys. People will come in and parrot back whatever you want them to say and do and it's not mind control or manipulation. It's just the law of assumption. Let's get you guys a card. Express your love. Oh my gosh, so leading off what I was just saying, by the way, you both have page of cups. So I see you both having an opportunity to express your love to one another in June. Express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Wow, Scorpio, with engagement. So you see guys, with all my bubbling along about the law, etc., for the current circumstances and energy and timeline, you still have, it's confirming what I was already saying. There's opportunity here for something really committed. This person seems to want that. You're considering it, but you feel uncertain, maybe off the back of certain assumptions or the way the energy has been. But once you make a decision, Scorpio, this person's already hoping for that. But if you make the decision and you're certain about it, this is how it's rolling. Okay, Scorpio? Um, all right, Scorpio, I hope that that resonated for you guys. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I will check in with you in two weeks time. Lots of love.